Dave the Diver and Dredge collaboration DLC just got released and it is... Wow! Like we can really see and feel just how hard Mint Rocket worked for this DLC because the changes are drastic. I'm talking about getting to navigate the boat just like in Dredge, a dredging minigame, three dredgified areas, a ton of new aberrated fishes, a new gun, new customers, and a new NPC. Yep, that's a lot. So here's everything you need to know about all of those. Let's go! Number 1. Boat Navigation and Dredging At your first foggy day, you'll meet the traveling merchant who will give you this light thing so that you can navigate through the areas of the blue hole during foggy nights. They will tell you all about the aberrated fishes, where to dive, and where to dredge. The tiny bubbles means that you can salvage some stuff where you do a quick mini game like this. Don't forget to dredge before diving as you won't get the opportunity to do it after a dive. You'd be teleported back to the sushi restaurant instead. Foggy nights are a bit rare, but you will surely have one at least once a week or once every two weeks if you're unlucky. So far, I do get it once a week on my saves. Number 2. Diving areas and new fishes As for where to dive, we are given three areas with unique aberrated fishes for each. The three areas are the Fog Coast, Black Cliff, and Jellyfish Basin. Just head over this tiny vortex to enter them. This means that if you want to complete the marine cards, you'd have to do a minimum of 3 dives. If you're prepared, then yes, you can do it in 3 dives. Nearly all the aberrated fishes are aggressive, except for a few that works like the green humphead parrot fish. Unfortunately, the bony wreck fish cannot be damaged by normal guns, harpoons, or even melee weapons. For some reason, only a launcher seems to work on it. But that fish only spawns at the black cliff. And another interesting fish that spawns there is the translucent sturgeon. This one goes invisible so you have to know where it is and then strike it so that it would show itself. For the rest, none of the areas poses a real threat if you are using a dead sniper gun as all of the gun's procs works at aberrated fishes. I did however notice that these fishes are a lot more tanky than the hydrothermal vent fishes because when my gun's effect doesn't proc, it takes about 3-4 to four shots to kill them. Yep, they're that tanky. Tranquilizers also work on them if you want more meat. Number 3. Crab Pots Diving on foggy nights are basically the same as diving on normal nights. You only get to do two areas of the blue hole, so that's about only 120 meters deep. And like the normal blue hole, each area has different crab pot catches. So you need one crab pot for the shallow part and another one for the deeper part for each aberrated fish map. Upgrading your crab pots would really make your dives more efficient. Number 4. Sushi Restaurant and New Customers After a dive, you'd be visited by hungry hooded fellas who will order for the rest of the night. And these aberrated fishes are crazy expensive. They are already on max level, so this means more money. You also can't sell these fishes the normal way, nor send it to your branch. Only the main restaurant will be visited by the hooded fellas. And don't worry, because all of the ones that you didn't serve will be bought by the traveling merchant by the end of the evening. The problem though is that if you've already served them, then the merchant will not buy them. So you can consider just serving a bit and then restocking from time to time throughout the night. That way, she will buy all the aberrated fishes on your inventory and nothing will be wasted. And that's about it for the newest Dave the Diver DLC. So what do you think about this collaboration? I don't know about you, but I really love it. But please, let me know your thoughts through the comments. Super thanks to our channel members as always. And don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more Dave the Diver stuffs coming your way. Bye-bye!